Hey there, Andy here, and I wanted to do this video uh, tonight. Um, I've just kind of got in, but I've seen today a number of loads that have been advertised on the CX, which are offering kind of same day 60 minute payment. I think we've seen a little bit of this, but it seems to be becoming more common. Now, when I started this, and I'm with Julie here, when I started this, you were quite critical of some of the times it takes to get paid, that it was 30 day end of month. Now, on the load that I saw, if you invoiced um, £100, it would be 30 days end of month, so it's the 15th of November today, then you would get it on the 30th of December, right? Right. Yeah. If you invoiced that £100 today, you could have it in 60 minutes, only you wouldn't have all of it, you would get something like about £87.50 or kind of thereabouts, so you're losing out £12.50 but you're getting that money same day. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's good for people if they've suddenly got a bill, an unexpected bill, like a repair on the van or something that mm. they need to make more money. Um, yeah, so you're, you're so, not, so what you're saying is, um, unless you've got that 87 quid or whatever, then you can't put diesel in your van or you yeah. can't repair your headlights or whatever. So yeah. you need that money now. And it gives your courier an amount of flexibility and then go out and start trading again. So you like it that way. I th I think it would help out a lot of people in that yeah. respect. Because I'm guessing not everybody has a credit card. Do you know what? I tried to use this credit card today and the, and the bank wouldn't take it. <laughs> they wouldn't give me any diesel. I don't know why. Um, but you see, I have a concern here. Right. I have a concern that there are an amount of people who will be cashing in on every load, like Christmas and New Year, and they're losing out, you know, like 12%, which is like £12 in every 100 on everything they earn because times are hard and then perhaps the courier exchange is going to go a bit quiet after Christmas. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm kind of assume that it's going to be busier before Christmas and quieter afterwards. And it's my concern. I mean, if you have a credit card, right, so you go, look, I'll put the diesel on my credit card, you've got kind of 30 days to pay it, haven't you? And normally, if you pay your credit card uh, at the end of the month, then you don't normally pay any interest on it, do you? So I think the credit card is the way to go if you can. I think, obviously, as I've said before, like cash flow is a big thing. If you can keep some cash in your pocket, cash is king, isn't it? But I, I like the fact that you get paid. But I, I just wonder, and, and I'm not criticising the courier exchange because I think, this is a good facility, but so I think just it, wondering who's going to benefit. Well, no, I'm, I'm not. No, no, look, look, right. So, business is business, right? I, I have a degree in business, so I, I kind of get business, I can see it for all sides. Career Exchange have got this service, yeah, and there is a cost to providing that service. So, you invoice a hundred pounds, somebody is paying you early. And they are taking like £12.50 to provide that service. Some of that will be admin. It doesn't all go in their pocket. I don't know what they make out of it, right? They're obviously making something or they wouldn't be doing it. And therefore, there wouldn't be a service. There wouldn't be that facility, which helps everybody. What I'm saying is I am a little bit nervous of it. Uh, and what I think is a bit of a shame is that perhaps Courier Exchange aren't putting a bit more pressure on the large suppliers, like the really big boys, to pay earlier because some of these invoices I do are like 45 days from end of month and I think ethically I think ethically the big boys or big girls right have the ability to pay that little bit earlier and then it kind of feeds through the whole system um I, I get it when you're working for somebody smaller and they're waiting for somebody else to pay them and their cash is tight so I, I understand 45 day invoicing you know if the guy is a sort of smaller or medium-sized trader and you have the option not to work for them you know uh, it, it's it's a funny one isn't it so i kind of like this option but all i'm going to say is be really careful with it because you get into that cycle of debt don't you and i know like if your van needs fixing you know that's the way it goes sometimes i think what you're trying to say is if it's a one-off in an emergency it could be really beneficial but if you're almost doing it all the time, you're losing. There's a danger, isn't there? There's a yeah, danger. If you a, start doing you it, into a habit. then you're into that cycle of waiting longer for your money. So I'm going to say 
it's a good thing. Use it with caution. If you have the option of a credit card, which is going to be free, I think that's the better option. You have to do what you think is right. I'm not a qualified financial advisor. Neither are you. Okay. Uh, I like it, but be careful of it. And I'd be interested to see what your comments and your experiences are. So please thumb up the video because then more people see it and we get more comments and we can all share from what other people are commenting. So thanks for watching the videos. Uh, I'm glad that they are proving useful to you and please thumb them up when you like them. All right, cheers.